Sitaram and a pleasant good evening to each and everyone. Welcome to tonight's Connecting Through Bhajans. At this point, I'd like to invite Auntie Chansey to lead us in our opening prayer, followed by our first bhajan. Thank you. Namaste, everyone. I hope everyone is well. So this evening, uh, let's focus our attention on the screen, but at the same time, on our most beautiful, compassionate Lord. Whatever form you, you envision, it's that same one God. This is the truth of our tradition. Our tradition is a monotheistic tradition. So we understand that though God may have many names, he is still that one God. So let's compose ourselves. And as we have Govin here, I would like to ask Govin to do the prayer. He is here, so I'm going to ask him to do the prayer. I'll recite, I'll chant Om three times, and Govin, you can do the prayer, please. Oh, oh, oh. Shri Ganeshaya Namaha Kanth me jinak viraj tahalah Ganga jalam shishpe Paye ang viraj jin ke kirija Patni swayam parvitim Nandi kartik ganapati ki sahita Kedar nath prabhu केदार गिरि पे सदा ही रहते करते सदा मंगलम मंगलम भगवान विष्णु मंगलम गरु रत्वज मंगलम पार्वती नाथ सर्व मंगल मंगलम ओम शांति शांति Shanti. Thank you very much, Govin. As you would remember, uh, some time ago, Govin had he started teaching us those uh, mantras. We never got to finish, so perhaps in the month of June we can resume. So I'm going to do a chant dedicated to Lord Krishna. And today, as we, as we come together, let us think of all those who may be experiencing loss, those who may be experiencing pain, illness, and we pray to God that they may find relief. Radhi ka jeevana Radhi ka jeevana Krishna janadana Radhi ko vinda Radhi ko pala Radhi ko vinda Radhe Kopala Deva Kinandana Krishna Krishna Deva Kinandana Nanda Nanda Mm. 
सुदना कृष्णा कृष्णा श्रीमतु सुदना राधिका जीवना कृष्ण जनादना राधे गोविंदा राधे गोपाला राधे गोविंदा राधे गोपाला देव की नंदना कृष्णा देव की नंदना नंद नंदना गोपी करंजना नंद नंदना गोपी करंजना Thank you very much, Auntie Chansey. So at this point, I'd like to pass over to Sanya for our Pachuca Khan segment this evening. Shizam, everyone, and welcome to tonight's Pachuca Khan segment. We will be starting off with our opening prayer. Oh, Sahana Vavatu, Sahana Bhunaktu, सह वीर करवाहै तेजस्वीनावदी तमस्तु मावदिशावहै ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम so tonight I will be doing the bhajan Gopala Radha Lola and we have Janavi who will be doing a short reading. So I will now hand over to Janavi. Thank you very much, Janavi. That was very informative. So I will be singing the bhajan Gopala Radha Lola. Gopala Radha Lola Murali Lola Nandalala Gopala Radha Lola Murali Lola Nandalala Jai Murali Lola Ananda Lala Keshav Madhav Janardana Keshav Madhav Janardana 
वनमाला वृंदावन वाला वनमाला वृंदावन वाला मुरली लोला आनंद लाला जय मुरली लोला आनंद लाला गोपाला अधोला मुरली लोला आनंद लाला आनंद आनंद मोहन निरंजना वन माला वृंदावन बाला वन माला वृंदावन बाला मुरली लोला आनंद लाला मुरली लोला आनंद लाला गोपाला मुरली लोला आनंद लाला जय मुरली लोला आनंद लाला मुरली लोला आनंद लाला थैंक यू आम सीताराम वी होप यू एंजॉय टुनाइट बच्चों का कल जय सीताराम एवरीवन जगत धारी मात दुर्गा जगत धारी मा जगत धारी मात दुर्गा जगत धारी मा जग जग मा जागो 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 जननी गौरी देवी रोना चंदी देवी हे गौरी देवी रोना चंदी देवी हे शिव रोना जागो मा हे शिव रमना जगो मे शिव रमना जगो मगो जगत धारी मगो जगो मगो जगो मगो जगो मननी हे दुर्ग देवी हे काली देवी हे दुर्ग देवी हे काली देवी हे शिवर मना जगो मे शिवर मना जगो म हे शिव रमना जगो मगो जगत धारी मगो जागो मगो जागो मगो जागो मननी हे हे लक्ष्मी देवी हे शारदा देवी हे लक्ष्मी देवी हे शारदा देवी हे शिव रमना जगो मे शिव रमना जगो म हे शिव रमना जगो मगो जगत धारी मगो जगो मगो जागो मगो जागो मननी हे गौरी देवी रण देवी शिव रमना जगो 
जगो जगत धारिणी माँ जगत धारिणी माता दुर्गा जगत धारिणी माँ जगत धारिणी माता दुर्गा जगत बोलिए श्री आज शक्ति दुर्गा माता की जय नमस्ते एवरीवन जानवी योर सिलेक्शन वाज वेरी अप्रोप्रिएट एंड यूजफुल बड़े प्यार से मिलना सबसे दुनिया में इंसान रे क्या जाने किस भेष में बाबा मिल जाए भगवान रे बड़े प्यार से मिलना सबसे कौन बड़ा है कौन है छोटा ऊंच कौन और नीचा प्रेम के जल से सभी को सींचा ये है प्रभु का भगीचा ओ ये है प्रभु का भगीचा मत कीचो तुम दीवार मत कीचो तुम दीवार इंसानों के धर्मयान रे क्या जाने किस बेश में बाबा मिल जाए भगवान रे बड़े प्यार से मिलना सब से क्या जाने कब शाम मुरारी आ जाए बन करके बिकारी कहीं लौत न जाए द्वार से कहीं लौत न जाए द्वार से लिया बिना कोई दान रे क्या जाने किस भेष में बाबा मिल जाए भगवान रे बड़े प्यार से मिलना सब से ओ मन greet everyone in this world with great love for no one knows what form the lord may assume to meet you who is big who is small who is high who is low this is the garden of the lord where everyone is watered with love do not build walls between each other for no one knows in what form you may meet the lord who knows when lord krishna may come he may assume the form of a beggar do not turn away anyone from your door empty handed meet all with great love for who knows in what form you may meet the lord thank you thank you all very much so bhuvan can you do can you do the next one and then auntie chancy will do our catechism this evening thank you सीताराम श्री दी साई द्वार कमाई 
प्रशांति वासी सायरा शिरदी साई द्वार कमाई प्रशांति वासी सायरा साई राम साई राम एक नाम सुंदर नाम साई राम साई राम एक नाम सुंदर नाम शिरदी साई द्वार कमाई प्रशांति वासी साई राम अल्लाईश्वर साई राम परिपुरी के हे भगवान दया करो दया करो दया करो हे भगवान दया करो कृपा करो रक्षा करो हे भगवान साई राम साई राम एक नाम सुंदर नाम शिरदी साई द्वार कमाई प्रशांति वासी साई राम साई राम साई राम एक नाम सुंदर नाम अल्लाईश्वर साई राम परिपुरी के हे भगवान दया करो दया करो दया करो हे भगवान दया करो कृपा करो रक्षा करो हे भगवान साई राम साई राम एक नाम सुंदर नाम शिरदी साई द्वार कमाई प्रशांति वासी साई राम सीताराम Namaste again, everyone. It was an absolutely beautiful chant, reiterating the oneness of God and understanding that only the Lord can grant us what we deserve. No one else. We ask for Him to bless us with wisdom. So tonight I'm going to speak on one verse from chapter four of the Bhagavad Gita, Jnana Karma Sanyasa Yoga, and this is uh, verse nine, and it says it addresses what process is the wise. have to you know what do they have to engage in to make themselves worthy of comprehending the divine vita ragha bhaya krodha man maya mam upasritah bahavo gyana tapasa utamat bhavam agatah This is one of the more important verses in the Bhagavad Gita because it is speaking to every one of us in a very direct way. Because I would like to think that we are all sadhakas trying to become to gain wisdom and to grow in spirituality. And here the Lord speaks, and He explains what we need to do. in order to grow in spirituality we must be free from passion and we like explain as we go along i'm just going to read the literal meaning and then and we will explore free from passion fear and anger 
filled with me, taking refuge in me, purified by penance and the fire of knowledge, many have entered into my being. Now, remember, last week we spoke about, uh, a little bit about Adi Shankara and Advaita teaching the oneness. There is no, it's a non-dualist understanding where we are not separate from God. So, and also a very important teaching of Shankara was that in this life, we can attain moksha or mukti. So, free from passion. And what type of passion do you think this is? What do you associate passion with? You can be passionate about many things. Certainly, you can be passionate about God. But when you think of the word passion, you think of, you know, exuberance and joy. And you might also think that it is a, it is a sort of extreme way of being. So when people get passionate about something, they may lose their temper. They may lose reason. And this is a type of passion here, free from passion. Remember, the Lord speaks about equanimity. In the face of even tragedy, we have to be, uh, you know, just very calm, very collected. We have to have that sort of understanding that everything around us will one day disappear. And that if we have that complete faith and trust in God, that in itself gives us the strength to be calm. So free from passion, fear. You know, when Shakespeare wrote that line, a coward dies many times before his death. And in uh, chapter two, when uh, uh, Arjuna is despondent, you know, even in chapter three, when he's despondent and he doesn't want to act and he's afraid. For Kshatriya, that is the biggest sin of all, to be afraid. Because one of the qualities of a Kshatriya is to, to have valor, to have strength, fortitude. And the Lord explains to us that in spirituality, we have to be forthright. We have to have that sort of conviction, fortitude, firmness. And this is what will create that equanimity. What gives, what is at the very basis of all of this is the understanding that there is nothing beyond God and that the Lord will never forsake us. The Lord will give us what we deserve. Obviously, we have to work. But beyond that, when we have done all that we can do, the Lord will give us what we deserve. After all, that is the law of karma. So we must, we must never be fearful. And especially when we are, when we have our prayer serious moments, we have to have that mental fortitude. That yes, that strength, that we can stand resolute in a situation. You know, be firm. There are so many of us. All around we can see it where people are just, you know, they don't want to take a stand about an issue. This is what the entire Bhagavad Gita is all about. The Lord is giving Arjuna, counseling Arjuna and giving him, telling him he has to fight. He has to fight. And why does he have to fight? And he gives that the entire, maybe 17 out of the 18 chapters is the reason why he should fight. A whole metaphysical, existential, every he addresses it all. 
the entire philosophy of our tradition that comes out of the Vedas is right here enshrined in the Bhagavad Gita. So he didn't say we know the backdrop of the of you know why he said to him to fight and why he was uh, nervous and he was at, at initially unwilling being confronted with his friends and and older uh, like teachers and respected people relatives how many of us have those moments but the lord is clear and we would have examined this before when we spoke about your janma parivar and your dharma parivar this is just another way of looking at it you always stand with what is right so if for some reason your blood relations are in the cross here as well i'm sorry you have to take the stand of righteousness and this is exactly what arjuna had to do stand for righteousness he didn't say the lord and say well you know maybe because drona was your teacher well we could leave him out i might be a little uncomfortable no he was fighting his cousins his uncle so what could be more difficult than that and yet we have you know incidences where we are confronted but we are afraid to act or we are afraid to take a stand so are we growing in spirituality this is the essence right here the lord speaks about it in so many different ways but it comes down to this do we have the backbone do we have that you know conviction in doing what is right that no matter what we will stand we are faced with it all around all around because we may know the person or the person might have a big position you know we we choose to turn the other way so who are we living our life to please which is more important living our life dedicated to god or living our life to please other human beings even though they may be engaging in what is wrong i'm not saying to pick up arms but there are ways and at the end of the day the lord is witnessing it all he is that silent eternal witness So at some point in time we have to set the right example for our children. If we sit on the fence and we never take a stand for what is right or wrong and our children somehow may be in a position where if someone didn't take a stand they would now be suffering. That would not be a, a nice situation. And it shouldn't be for self-serving reasons anyway. it is what is right and that should be enough it is what is right in the service of god so fear anger now this is another one and you know there is something called <coughs> the sadhana chatushtaya and this is really I will go into detail about this afterwards and this is what is required if we are to grow in wisdom. If we are to grow in wisdom, we need to follow the four chat chatush so chatur four. But anger you know when you lose your temper you lose reason. we always caution walk away from a situation take a deep breath reflect don't send off that email in anger don't call up that person in anger don't engage in an argument when you are angry because you lose reason and inevitably 
you regret what happened. You regret what you see. Because when you are angry, you are not rational. You lose reason. So you, 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 that calm, the calmness that we're supposed to have, that composure is lost. This is why anger is something that we have to all work on because we all get angry. But it is how we deal with that anger. So, free from passion, free from fear, free from anger. But we, that is, that is just a start. But we must be filled with God. How do we get filled with God? And this right here, we remember the Pancha Mahayajna and all that is required of us. They all, they all come together, you know. Everything we do, and this is why Hinduism is a way of life. The Hindu tradition is a way of life. So this is why, again, on Sunday when Mrs. Singh was speaking about compartmentalization, and I think Govin spoke about it as well. This, this does not belong within our tradition. We have to be consistent. We can't wear, you can wear different hats for different jobs, but it must be that same individual everywhere. Your values should not change. So everything that we do, if we understand that we are serving God, when we understand that God is equally present in all beings and he is everywhere and he pervades the entire universe, here again, we are filled with God. When Shankara talks about meditation and being quiet and going inward, being alone, he didn't say sit in a cave. He, he spoke about gardening. He spoke about walking and spending time in nature. You can be in your kitchen cooking by yourself and you can be thinking of God and reciting. You can be doing any chore, anything. You don't need to, you know, sit down and have a big production to worship God. What is within God is around you. God understands every language, the limitless, omniscient. So sometimes when we have these, and I will relate an incident. I was chatting with this lady who, who, is, uh, who is Muslim. And she said to me, you know, a couple of years ago when there was this, remember we had this earthquake that went on for like a minute. And she said, you know, she was in a washroom. And when it started to shake, of course, it, at first, well, she thought it was going to stop. And when it wasn't stopping, she started to chant and, you know, Allahu Akbar. Allah. And she related it to someone after and the person said, well, you know what was wrong with that? What was wrong is that she, not, she should not have been reciting that in the washroom. So she's saying to me, just imagine, this is what that person took out of that. I thought my life was ending. And this is why I chanted God's name. And this is what they would draw into my attention. So I said, well, you see, this is where, just like what we say with the law, the letter of the law, the spirit of the law, is there any place where God is not? You see, we must, we must always think. And I'm saying this to you because we all need to think. Because sometimes we think, you know, we have to dedicate that one hour when we go to the Monday. Or we have to dedicate this time when it's this and that. It is every day. Every day. And if we do this, 
we will grow in mindfulness. We will grow in love for God and we will grow in spirituality. Filled with me, because then it, all you can think of is God. And without you even thinking, he's there in your mind. And then that, that, that conviction is there. That understanding that the Lord will never forsake me, it comes. It, you don't just, you know, snap your fingers and it's there. It, it comes with time. It's a process. Knowledge is a process. Gaining wisdom is a process. Taking refuge in me. So where do we go when we have problems? Some people go to the bottle. Some people go to drugs. Some people, they do different things. Where are you going? Where do we go? The Lord is saying here, Take refuge in me. You know, it, it, it reminds you of that hymn. Where you lay all your troubles at the feet of the Lord. Take it all to, to the Lord and pray. Isn't it? We want to go to all kinds of individuals all over the place who promise us the sun, the moon, and the stars, and they themselves are in a sorry state. So who, re who is really the, the, the idiot in that situation? So you see, it's a process. We have to start purging ourselves before we get to this point. Then it says, Purified by penance in the fire of knowledge. Now, when people hear penance, oh my God, punishment. Lord, this is punishment. We are being punished here, penance. Purified by penance in the fire of knowledge. That discipline of studying and understanding God. And how do we get this? By reading our scriptures. By reading, by listening to things to teach you, by going to lectures, by going to, you know, listening and learning. That's how we, that's how we learn. So this is what we need to do. Purified, we become purified when we have that knowledge because we now see clearly. We are out of all the muck. We're like the proverbial lotus out of the muck, resplendent, because we now realize who we really are in the grand scheme of things. And he's saying, many, by doing this, many have entered into my being. So when we say, well, you know, I don't know what, what, what we have to do. We have to observe every different thing and whatever. And we are so busy thinking of that that we have lost the sight of what is really important. And just today I was reading about a, you know, a long time ago and I, I remembered it, the Arya Samaj movement that started in the uh, 19th century, mid to about 1850, 1870, around there, in India, which was a reformist movement. And it was about getting away from rituals and getting away from, in India, where it was a lot of superstitious stuff and going back to the essence, going back to the Vedas, going back to Vedic philosophy, getting back to what is simple. And this is what the Bhagavad Gita is all about. When Swami came as, as the Purna Avatar, this is what he spoke about. All of these very important and profound teachings and brought across in the simplest of manner that even a child could understand. But yet, but yet we are, I, I don't know, I don't know what to say.
the Lord explains it over and over. This is a process. And I've just explained to you, I've read to you, and you can go to the Bhagavad Gita chapter 4 and look for yourself. The, the Sadhana Chetushtaya, this is for if you want to grow in wisdom and you want to read and empower yourself. I, I, I examined this before with you, but I just quickly list them for you. Viveka. We all need to have these qualities. Viveka, the ability to think, to think clearly and discern what is true and what is untrue, what is valid and what holds, you know, is of no significance or it is not true. Vairagya. Shama. We have to control our mind and senses. Dhamma. So Dhamma is the control of the senses. So all of these can be subsumed under what I just uh, read to you in uh, from chapter 4. Uparama means that we must be faithful. Titiksha, we must have that balance in life. And of course, Shraddha, we must have a balance in life, but we must have faith. Samadana, we must be focused. So when we are studying, you know, when we teach our children, you have to study hard and you... Why is it that we only focus on secular knowledge and not spiritual? When a child has exams, it's, we have no time whatsoever. We can't find 10 minutes. But if something goes wrong, oh my God. Think about it. When we get sick, when we lose a loved one, when it is, you know, when the, our end is coming, who do we go to? So let us not wait. Let us not wait. And from this verse, it goes on to speak about that very ticklish subject. Of the Chatur Varnyam. Maybe we'll do that next time. And then you understand exactly what are the qualities of every uh, individual. How, how you can then group them. It's very, very important. It's very important for our understanding in how we relate to other people. So remember, we must be freed from passion, free from fear, free from anger. We must be filled with the Lord. We must take refuge in God. And we must be purified by the discipline, the fire of knowledge. So that's when we will gain wisdom and we will grow and hopefully attain moksha or mukti. So with this, I say namaste. Thank you. Thank you very much, Auntie Chansi. So we'll have a couple more bhajans and then I'll ask Auntie Dewanti if she can do our closing prayer this evening. Um, so Mrs. Ramdat, can you do one? Um, followed by Govin, and then my mommy will do the last one. Thank you. Jai Sitaram again. Tumal binti suna sabki kalyan karo jagka सदराह दिखा करके 
उद्धार करो दुर्गा उद्धार करो दुर्गा तुम बिंत सुनो सबके दर्शन हो मातेरी सबकी अभिलाषा है मन मेरा हो तुम सबकी तुम से यही आशा है दर्शन हो मा तेरी सब की अभिलाषा है मन मेरा हो तुम सब के तुम से यही आशा है क्या मेरा क्या उसका क्या अपना पराया क्या सद ज्योति जला करके रोशन करो जब सारा रोशन करो जग सारा तुम बिंत सुनो सबकी कल्याण करो सबका सदराह देखा करके उद्धार करो दुर्गा उधार करो दुर्गा संसार तो माया है कभी धूप कभी छाया है एक दिन उसे जाना है जो भी यह आया है क्या रंग है जीवन का क्या रूप है माँ उसका तुम ज्ञान बढ़ा करके उपकार करो दुर्गा उपकार करो दुर्गा तुम बिंत सुनो सबकी कल्याण करो सबका सदराह देखा करके उधार करो दुर्गा उधार करो दुर्गा तुम बिंत सुनो सबकी श्री दुर्गा माता की जय सीताराम नारायण नारायण बज मन नारायण 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 बज मन नारायण श्री हरि माधव नारायण बज मन नारायण श्री हरि माधव नारायण बज मन नारायण 
मुरलीशाम मोहन शाम मुरली मोहन शाम मुरली शाम मोहन शाम मुरली मोहन शाम मेरे राम हे गणेश साई सतगुरु नाम मेरे राम हे गणेश साई सतगुरु नाम नारायण नारायण बजुमन नारायण श्री हरि माधव नारायण बजु मन नारायण मुरली शाम मोहन शाम मुरली मोहन शाम मेरे राम हे गणेश साई सतगुरु नाम नारायण नारायण बजुमन नारायण सीताराम नमस्ते वंस अगेन हरे हरे गोपाल राधे कृष्ण हरे हरे गोपाल राधे कृष्ण हरे हरे गोविंद पांडुरंगा हरे हरे गोविंद पांडुरंगा हरे हरे गोपाल राधे कृष्ण हरे हरे गोपाल राधे कृष्ण हे जगबंदन देव की नंदन अलक निरंजन हरे हरे जन मन रंजन भव दुख भंजन अलक निरंजन हरे 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 गोपाल राधे कृष्ण हरे हरे गोपाल राधे कृष्ण हरे हरे गोविंद पांडुरंगा हरे हरे गोविंद पांडुरंगा हरे हरे गोपाल राधे कृष्ण हरे हरे गोपाल राधे कृष्ण हे जगबंदन देव की नंदन अलक निरंजन हरे हरे जन मन रंजन भव दुख भंजन अलक निरंजन हरे 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 गोपाल राधे कृष्ण हरे हरे गोपाल राधे कृष्ण हरे हरे गोविंद पांडुरंगा हरे हरे गोविंद पांडुरंगा हरे हरे गोपाल राधे कृष्ण हरे हरे गोपाल राधे कृष्ण थैंक यू Thank you all very much. So I'll pass over to Auntie Dewa Auntie to do our closing prayer this evening. Thank you. Sita Ram. Om Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityoma Amritam Gamaya Om Tvameva Mata चपिता 
मम देव देवा ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम सीताराम